today's academic prep, Key Club is hosting a canned and non-perishable food drive to support the Jamesville Food Pantry until Friday, April 12th. All donations are greatly appreciated, and the homeroom that raises the most cans will receive a donut party. Please remind students every day between April 1st and 12th, all donations will be collected April 12th during the activity period. Thanks. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. On Tuesday, March 26, New York Times bestselling author of All American Boys, Brendan Kiley, visited our school to speak to students about his books and his work as an author. Kylie has published four books, The Last True Love Story, The Gospel of Winter, All American Boys, and Tradition, all of which you can find in the library. In his stories, Kylie writes about some of the pressing issues in our society today, from racism, police brutality, and sexual misconduct. During his lectures in the newly improved large group room, he largely discussed his inspiration for his books and how his own experiences and the stories he hears impacts his work. I was a three-sport athlete, though I did all kinds of other things out there in the world. Um, writing became a way for me to get to know the me on the inside that no one else knew. I think it's important because they are the realities that so many of us are living, right? And I think that um, I think it's incredibly important to have all different kinds of stories out there for people to read. But I, I want the stories that I have to offer to that plethora of stories to be stories that are are asking us to kind of pull back the the veil a little bit and, and, and look at the reality. And I also think it's important for us to to um, to have novels about this because novels ask us to spend time with the characters. A new story comes in and it's gone. Right? And we need the news. We we need the news and we need the truth and facts matter. Right? And we need novels because novels ask us to sit patiently with these stories and mull them over and feel the emotional experience and truth of it all. Um, we had an opportunity. He was coming to the area and we haven't had an author in a really long time so I wanted to jump on board and um, expose some students, as many as possible, um, to a real live author. Um, I think his, his messages are great in his books and I thought it would really connect with um, our students. Um, I thought he was really interesting. He talked about really important and um, interesting topics, so it kind of made me think about um, all the problems that are occurring, especially with teens, and it made me want to read his books. Um, we often hear that we should put these problems um, like under the table and not talk about them, but he made a point that we should be bringing up these topics and uh, talk about everybody's stories and the issues within the society. What do cows like to read? <laughs> I don't know. Catalogs. How does a duck buy lipstick? The duck keys. Duck keys. <laughs> she puts it on her bill. Duck lay eggs. Yes, that's true. What does a cock say to a stomach? Stop. You're under a vest. The grass so green, the sun so bright, life seems a dream, no worries in sight. Tans and tank tops, laughter and bliss, each moment passes without even a miss. Friends and cookouts, memories and laughs, good times to remember, but how long will it last? The grass soon fades, leaves begin to fall, school replaces sleepovers, oh, I miss it all. The JD Varsity Baseball team will be playing in the annual strikeout Lou Gehrig's Disease Baseball Tournament at OCC on Thursday, April 11th at 4.30. The team is selling bracelets for $2 each and the proceeds will go to the local ALS association. See a baseball player at Mr. Klumper for more information. Thursday at 4 o'clock is our ALS uh, game. It's, it's been going on for a few years now. Um, it's a disease that I know was, was kind of brought attention to by the Ice Bucket Challenge. Uh, baseball player from Boston College, you know, young college kid got diagnosed, and that's why there's kind of a baseball tie to it. Um, it's something that's also affecting our community. My wife's father passed away from uh, ALS. Uh, Mr. Daly, who taught here a few years ago, his mother passed away from ALS. Uh, Tim Green, we probably know his name out in Skinny Atlas, he's been diagnosed. So it affects a lot of people, and uh, 
you know, we need money to bring awareness to it because um, when the money goes, that's where the research goes. So it's, it's, an, it's an, a, a disease that hasn't been cured yet and that's the goal so people can't, you know, don't have to go through what, you know, some people in this community have gone through. It's, it's a pretty nasty disease. So we encourage everybody to come out, buy a bracelet from a baseball player, come out of the game Thursday, you know, donate some money if you can, come out and support the team, um, and the money will go to a great cause. Your weather with Parker and Ryan. Today will be a high of 43, a low of 28, and partly cloudy. He waltzes into the lane, crosses the free throw line, fakes a drive, pivots, floats from the asphalt turf in an arc of black light and sinks two into the chains. One on one, he fakes down the main, passes into the free lane and hits the chains. A sniff in the fallen air, he stuffs it through the chains, riding high. Traveling, someone calls, and he laughs, stepping to a silent beat, gliding as he sinks into the two chains. Make sure to send announcements to JD Rampage at jd.cnyrig.org. Also, check out Rampage at jdrampage.com.